Welcome to All Hands Adventures, guys. Um, I'm coming to you today with some sad news, or well, for me, it's, it's sad news, and angry news. I just wanted to let you know uh, some updates on my Breda APX. I currently went to the gun range today um, to help my brother-in-law learn, or to show my brother-in-law how to shoot. During that time, we were shooting our own ammo, but when we decided to use the ammo that we purchased from the range as well, because we wanted to shoot some more rounds, so we had purchased some ammo from the range that we were shooting at. Um, it was my first time shooting my Breda APX. Well, during that time while we were shooting, uh, we decided to switch over to the ammo that we purchased from the range. A few rounds in, this is what happens. The extractor from my APX came apart. I had a bullet, I had the shell lodged into the chamber of the pistol. And also another, so I had a double feed pretty much in the pistol. The extractor, the, the spring, the, the pin came, all came out. And I don't know if it was just the ammo that we purchased from the range or maybe it was a malfunction with Beretta, but I was pretty upset. Not just because, well, I was pretty upset my pistol fell apart, broke apart, but made me upset was the range, how they reacted. Um, I did everything right. I cleared my, my pistol or I tried to clear my pistol, sat it down, uh, took the magazine, I had the magazine out, put it on the table and had my brother-in-law go call the range uh, help. And they just told him, oh, we don't have our ar armor. He hasn't been in for a couple of days. But then they had somebody else come in and to to look at it, see what was going on. So he, he got a rod to push the shell that was lodged into the, uh, into the chamber out. But then he had another guy come in. He said, oh, there, we got a guy that he can help, me help you out. And he comes in, he sees exactly what's happening. And then he's like, well, I think we can, we're probably, we're gonna have to do a ceasefire. And he goes back, talks to his boss, comes back and then gives me the, oh, well, you know, my, my manager told me that we need to, you can either wait for a while and then we can do a ceasefire or you can go purchase one, purchase a new extractor and, and, and resolve your issue that way. And I was like, well, first, first of all, you came in and said you would do a ceasefire. And now you want me to go spend money instead of causing a ceasefire. And then I, I, brought it up i said well you can't do a ceasefire right now and he goes well i guess so and then he walks back or you know and it just felt like they were kind of not wanting to do a ceasefire i guess either not to interrupt other shooters or they just don't want to you know have any shooters i don't know what what they what they're thinking and then i brought up the the ammo and like i think it was the ammo that caused it He's like, oh no, we just we just sell Winchester, what the manufacturer uh, sells or get you know or recommends, and that's it. And then I show him the box, and he's like, looks at, it, he's like, oh, it's Portobello uh, ammo. And I'm like, so I literally caught you in a lie, and now I don't know if it now I can't trust his word. So he winds up calling a ceasefire. And then he has everybody goes out into the lobby and then while they go look for my extractor in the spring because it was nowhere to be found at first. And then they find it, eventually find it. And then everybody goes back in there and they go shooting. And I have, I just pretty much, um, you know, you know, ask them, you know, what, you know, is it the ammo? He's like, I don't know. He's like, you know, I, he's pretty much kind of putting the blame on the pistol. And I'm not too sure if it was a pistol because Brad's pretty reliable, but I don't want to say it was their fault or Brad's fault, but I am going to take it to where I purchased my pistol, which is Ray Sporting Goods. And they have a armory there and I'm going to have it 
um, looked at. I have to wait to Tuesday because that's when they'll open back up. Uh, it will be on just Tuesday, so I'll, I'll have some further updates. But again, I want to you know share this with y'all. I want to be you know, upfront with you and show you my experience with my Beretta because you might have the same issue. Again, you know it was the extractor. the The rod is still in there. Uh, I, you know, I kind of got it back in there, but the actually it's right here. It, it just fell out. So that's what came out. And then these parts as well, the spring and the extractor. So all that came out. So now I'm faced with having to see how I can get this fixed. If there's a bread of warranty, I will be contacting their customer service line. Uh, probably not until Tuesday or maybe your Monday. I don't know. It's got to see their, their hours and see how, how fast they can help me. But I wanted to be up front with y'all guys. Maybe y'all might have the same issues and I'll let you have, I'll let y'all guys, I'll show you how, you know, I'll, I'll let you know my experience with this because, you know, maybe you're going to be faced with the same issue. Maybe it's the pistol or maybe it was just the ammo. You know, if you ever used this ammo before, let me know if you have any issues before. Um, I was very surprised to, for this to happen because you know, I have a 96A1, shoots like a champ. I have a PX4 Storm, shoots like a champ. But this one time I decided to use, actually this is the second time I used ammo there, but I had used 40 cal ammo there before, but it would, they had like the ammo in the bag, so I don't know what brand it was. And again, they say they use Winchester, but they gave me Por, Por Bellum, I think that's what they, the name of it was. But, yeah, my my pistol's broken, and I'm gonna be using my uh, PX4 Storm for now until I I figure out you know what happened to my APX if it you know if it was a pistol and you know um you know at this point in time I can't recommend this pistol until I know what fully happened with this pistol. Um, I don't really think it was a pistol. I think it was the ammunition because I, we're shooting rounds. Uh, I maybe put 20 rounds through his pistol with my own ammo or no, 17 rounds. And then, no, it was 20 cause, and then we switched over and I was showing my, my brother-in-law how to shoot his APX that he got. He got the Ceterium and I'd done a video about, about that as well. But again, I, I'm a little heated. I even still got my range goggles on here, um, or glasses. Um, so, you know, I just got back from the range and I'm a little heated. I'm not going to lie, but I'm trying, I'm not trying to let that, let that cloud my mind again. I'm not pulling the range out there, their name, because I don't want to, you know, this might be a one off with them. Cause I shot there before I've had any issues before up to this point but again i didn't use their ammo i always you know that much you know other than one time when i took my class uh for my um license to carry in which i used their ammo because i didn't have any at the time because you know the ammo is scarce right now um but i've been using mine uh up to this well up to this point in my other pistols and this one time um I only took a magazine of what I usually shoot and then or what I what I had and then I we bought some ammo there and I when I started using that ammo that's when I had the malfunction the pistol falling apart basically. But if you have any um you know stories about your APX or about that ammo, please let me know. I wanna know if this is a common issue or if this you know a common issue with the gun or with that ammo. I usually use Winchester. I don't or Federal. Those are the only two I usually use. So, you know, poor Bellum, they kinda already left me a bad taste in my mouth. I won't ever use that ammo again. No. Not not mm -mm, I won't be doing that. So I'll be trying to figure out how to get this pistol fixed and get it up and running again and hopefully take it back to the range and Try it out again, see if I have any mal more malfunctions or, you know, but you know, I'll be, I won't be using that ammo again, but I just want to keep y'all updated. Again, I'm going to show you where it fell out. It came out here. 
So that's where his tractor is. And yeah, even when I start shooting that ammo, the pistol starts smoking, which is kind of weird. You know, I clean my pistol very well. I, I done a YouTube video on that. So I I did it. Be, I told y'all clean your pistols before you go to the range. And that, and that's what, you know, I had this pistol clean, ready to go. So I'm not sure what happened. Um, you know, it was, it was a perfect day. And went with my brother-in-law, you know, some, you know, you know, teach him how to shoot his pistol, teach him how to you know, use a firearm, safety rules, and you know, everything went downhill. So, but luckily, you know, he was able to still learn, and I was able to, you know, he was still able to shoot his pistol with the, his ammunition that he brought was his Winchester, and you know, I always tell him use Winchester or Federal. That's it. You know, anything else, make sure it's it's a good quality ammo. Make sure you look it up. Make sure you check the the grain on it. Make sure it's, a, you know, a, a good grain for your pistol. And But now I'm having this issue. So um, I'm a little, it's a little sad, you know, that I have to report this. I'm, you know, made me angry how the, how the uh, range uh, decided to handle it. It just felt like they didn't, they didn't care. That's how I felt. I'm not gonna put them on blast. I you know, I don't, not right now. I gotta figure out what happened to the pistol first. But I just feel like they could have done a better job of customer service, I believe. I mean, it's not like I was asking them for a whole lot. I mean, just cease fire, you know, why they find it real quick, which he found it really quick. I mean, it was just at first he, he was, there was his, his boss didn't want him to, I guess, or I don't know what the deal was, but I just, I'm a little upset, guys, but I just want to report this to you again. I want to be upfront with you guys. I don't want to hide anything about uh, Beretta. They're not paying me to, you know, to recommend this gun or, you know, any advertisements or any sponsorships. I want to give you the straight story about this pistol, so... Uh, once again, I'm gonna take this to the to to the armory or to the you know to sport uh, raise sporting goods and have them look at it and um, I you know I trust them you know their word I've you know my family's used you know been going there for years and years and years I mean decades um, so uh, I just I'm gonna reach out to them and see what they say. But I, again, I just want to reach out to y'all, let y'all know what my experience was. And the only reason I didn't record uh, the range was because I was with my brother-in-law. Um, you know, I wanted to focus on teaching him gun safety, teaching him, you know, I don't want him to be distracted by the camera or anything. So, I, you know, that's why I didn't record it. But next time I will shoot the gun, I will record it. Um, but this time I, I just didn't do that. Uh, because, you know, I wanted to, you know, focus on him and you know, focus on training him and getting him, you know, well equipped, you know, well aware of the his gun or, uh, you know, everything that was going on. So, but if you have any questions, drop them below. Um, you know, I, I'm going to keep you all updated as much as I can. I'm going to take this gun again to the armory, but I appreciate y'all support. Please like, subscribe. I'm sorry I haven't been, you know, putting much content out there. I've been really busy at work. Um, we're very short handed as many other industries are. But, you know, if you have any questions, drop them below. I appreciate your help, support. Please like, subscribe down below. And you have a great day.